Hello guys and welcome back to the Traction Channel for another brand new video. Today, as you can probably tell by this incredible menu music, we are back on Toka Race Driver 3 for another episode. So in the first episode, I played through the first two tiers in the World Tour mode, basically bringing myself back to my childhood, remembering this fantastic old game. Some of it's aged well, some of it hasn't, uh, and I'm sure we'll find out way more about that as we go through this, but yeah, the plan for today's episode is to just make it through some more tiers, so we'll try and take on tier 3, 4 and 5 if we get the time, and basically just try and charge through this World Tour mode. You got a face like a bulldog chewing a wasp. I'm gonna bend your ear. Don't let me down this time, son. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, we're only 6% through the World Tour mode, so that means that's roughly like 3% per tier, which is, yeah, we're going to be here for a long time. There's going to be quite a few episodes, I think. In the first episode, we got through the Renault Clio Cup and then the MG Team Rally Shield. So today in tier 3, we have the option between Formula 1000s, Off-Road National, Off-Road Buggy Nationals, I should say, and the US Muscle Car Tour. I've got a little bit of a soft spot for these Formula 1000 cars. Uh, my dad used to own a Jedi, which is what these cars are. Um, the first car I ever drove was very similar to a Jedi, so... I always kind of have a place in my heart for these cars and I think because of that I'm going to have to go for it. We've kind of done a bit of rallying and we've obviously done the Clios but we've not done anything super quick yet so let's go with that. So my objective is to finish fourth or above in this championship. We've got three laps of Donington National and two laps of Silverstone Grand Prix. Even the setup menu music is so iconic with this game, I absolutely love it. Okay, here we go. Donington National. Like got to get back into the Toka Race Driver 3 driving zone, which is a very different driving zone to most other games I've been playing. These Formula Jedis though should have a lot of downforce and grip. Oh hello. It's getting feisty already. It's a lot flatter in this game than it is in real life or most modern day sims. That I've had a bit of time to develop the circuits more realistically. Oh no. It's all gone wrong. Okay, it's going to have to be a recovery drive. We don't seem to have much damage somehow. So I'm going to have to just try and recover it from there. So it's all about just getting used to the handling model and, and how to race the AI in this game. And the inside into the chicane. Ooh. See, we were late on the brakes there, but we just got it slow up in time and made it around the corner. I really do need to make progress if I want to qualify in the top four in the championship. Oh, right on the limits through there. I'm not even making any progress on the guys in front, they're too fast. That's going to be it. Oh no. That's got to be it for the first attempt. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to restart that. The AI seem to kind of get faster when they spread out a little bit, but when they cluster together, they slow up quite a lot, and that's kind of how you have to make your moves in this game, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Someone's on the grass, that's fine, that's P5. I didn't know AI made their own mistakes in this game, that's pretty cool. We'll make our move into the chicane. Don't know where to break, gonna break it at 100. Perfect. I think the key as well is to not turn in too early for these corners. You've gotta kind of just trust that the car is gonna have the grip in the second half of the corner, because if you're carrying too much speed, you've had it. Still not really catching them too well. Come on, this one's the final lap. I'm trying, Rick, I promise. Maybe setup work would, would help a little bit for this one. Although I wouldn't really know where to start. Oh no, 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 get back on. Oh no. Hold on to P5. Alright, get back up to P5 and that'll be damage limitation. But yeah, I, I wouldn't know where to start with setup because the car feels so crazy anyway, you're just sliding about that. I wouldn't really know where to go. Thank you, Rick. P5 in the first race is going to be really... Uh, we're going to re basically really need a top four to get through now. Straight on to Silverstone GP. Pressure's on. Starting from P8, though, it's quite good. It wasn't too bad a start, but we still got munched by all the AI. Look how much more speed we're carrying than we were at Donington. It must just be the... Oh. Seems to be to do with the elevation changes, right? We've got Kent in P4, one of the rivals. He's got a colour on his head. I think he was fourth, maybe, in the first race. Or third, sorry. Okay, we're going to get past Kent. Oh, they're all slowing down so much in the straight. This is beautiful. We need to make progress while we can, because once they speed up a little bit, it's going to be much harder. 
gonna make a move down here. Okay, welcome to P3. He's so motivational, is our Rick. He's properly gets you going. He's angry when you do bad. He's delighted when you make any moves. He's living life on the edge. He really is. Oh, that's gonna lose me position. Get it back. Nope. Get a good exit. This is quite a good wee race. Oh, he moved out of the way for me. Thank you so much. The game definitely seems to give you more grip if you turn in a little bit later and on the racing line. It doesn't... It actually seems to make quite a big difference. Because I've been turning in too early quite a lot and then I've been just drifting through the whole corners, but it feels like when I... When I turn in a bit later, you get so much sharp on sharpness in the turn, and it actually works well. I think it's probably designed to be good in a controller, and that would make sense. Because you, you can't be as precise with a controller. No, don't go wide. No, he's got me! Oh, he snuck down the inside. I'm going to have to take P4, and hope it's enough. Unless I can get him on the line, can I? No! I don't think I got him. Stayed P4. Oh, I really hope that that's enough to qualify. I'll be so annoyed if we miss out by like one point after that. What's it gonna be? I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, we did it by one point, all right. <laughs> Look how close that is though. I was only two points away from being seventh and I was third. Oh, that was a fun wee championship. Third place and we've unlocked tier four. We've got Super Truck International Series, we've got the Baja Motocross Series and the Japanese Works Cup. Hmm. I've already done a couple of circuit racing events. I've done the Formula 1000 and the Clio's. So the Japanese Works Cup, although it's a different type of car, um, I have done circuit racing. Same with the truck series. They're really cool. I do want to do them at some point. But I haven't done the rallycross type circuits yet. So I'm thinking of doing the Baja motocross series. Finished fourth or above. We've got our Pro Baja Dune Racer. And we've got a couple of tracks. These are some of the best fictional circuits on games, by the way. I love these wee tracks. Especially the National Dirt Raceway. What an absolute classic that one is. Okay, we're racing for Steben Autosport. Let's do it. Yes, we have a Rick cutscene first. Look at that. Judging your speed is vital when approaching jumps. Too slow, and you'll fail to get enough lift to clear the jump. Too fast means you're going to overshoot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Means oh Rick. Stay in the air too long, and that's going to slow you down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay, so we've got Dirt Raceway 4 up next. We're gonna go for it. I'm thinking of using Swingman for this one because the side-to-side -side action will be, and the, the way where the back the wheels are placed will be quite important. They're quite powerful, actually. Uh. Okay, it's not a good start. Drifted out wide and we're last. Force feedback and these are really strange. Getting very sideways very easily. Back in line now, P6. I remember these races being quite fun but also quite hard. Oh, don't hit the wall. That it looks like a tire wall, but I'm pretty sure it's solid. Around the outside of these guys. Oh, it's beautiful. Up to P4. Can we take the lead on the end of lap one? No, I'm going to run wide. Repelio maintains the lead, but we're up to P2. Got late. <laughs> I like the little brake lights. You've got two little spot brake lights. Oh no. Behind the driver's head on the road cage. That's down to P4. I was too busy looking at the lights. Alright, can we cut this guy off? A little bit rude, but Rick will be proud of us for that. Keep going. Almost in first place. I know. I've not actually won a circuit race yet. No, get out of the way. Oh, I know he's, he's been so slow that he's blocked me off. I've not actually won a race yet. The only race I've won is the, the MG Rally. Oh my god, he's just blocking me the whole way. That was a serious smash. Can't, okay? uh, oh, no, 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 not now. Not now. Go. Oh, wow. That's a really bad ending. We're still in P2. No, we're not. Can we hold on to P5? We can do this. You've just oh, they were so slow in all the wrong places. Like I kept catching them and then not having anywhere to go. And because the steering's 2005 Toko Race Driver 3 steering, you can't really like change your line that easily. It's it's hard to explain, but 
I screwed that up by being too close to the guy in front, basically. I should have gone wide like I did on that one. But hey. Come on, get stuck in. Take the lid off. You can do it. Don't let me down this time, son. I'm sorry, Dad. So another P5 finish, and we're up on the ropes once again. Uh, with International Rallycross short to go. Similar to the last one in the Jedi's, we kind of just need to get a top four, top three to have a chance. But I definitely... Oh my god, is that a good start? Have I just gotten a good start? These things are good fun to race, I'm not going to lie. The, it, the handling is really bizarre and quite frustrating when you get it wrong, like that. But when it's going well, it's it's really nice. Don't get straight. P7. This track has a nice flow to it as well, from memory. Nice. Okay, can we go in the outside of Brisk? Yes, we can. Cheers, Rick. I feel like um, I feel like the AI are very good at some corners and very bad at others. It's not exactly consistent over the full course of a lap. So you've kind of, I mean, it makes it fun for racing, right? Because you've got to defend at some corners and then overtake at others. But it's just not very consistent. See if we can catch up with leading two. I'm trying, man. Uh. Right, can we send one down the outside? It's it's very rude. It's very rude. Am I bothered? No. Repelio, who won the first race, is going to win again. This guy is like the Sebastian Loeb of Toka Race Driver 3. It's going to be P2. Yes! You yes! He's getting me pumped up, he really is. Lap record. You've only gone and broken the lap record. Come here, I want to kiss you. <laughs> so John Traction takes P2 and John Traction qualifies third in the championship. I st I'm still just like, still struggling to get right to the top. Um, which is cool, I like that. Keeps the challenge open. It's no fun when you play a game and you can just win all the time. It's, it's so much more enjoyable when you feel like you really got to work for it and it's hard. And I think this game is doing quite well in that. It's really nicely balanced at the moment. So I don't think I want to do monster trucks because we've just done the dirt one. Formula Fords, we've just done the Jedis at the start of this episode. So it really leaves the Palmer Catrum challenge, which is probably what I'd want to do anyway. They sound like good fun. Finish fourth or above, we're in our Catrum 7, and we've got three races this time. We've got three laps around Brands Hatch, Indy, we have three laps around Olton Park, and four laps around Zandvoort, short circuit. Alright, TN Motorsport, let's do it. We're going to get the hype from the setup music. I'm ready to win a race. Okay, this is our kind of best onboard view by the looks of it. It's interesting that Rick kind of tells you that this gives you an early an early feeling for, for higher power GT cars because a Catrum's kind of, I'd say a Catrum's more of a taster for like single seater racing. Okay, we made a nice move there up to P8. We're going to go around the outside, up the hill. Beautiful. Send one down the inside of the banana cart. Harvey in third, that's the name of my road car. He's going to have to be a rival of mine. Or maybe he could be my friend. Right, we've got our teammate in front. We're going to try and get down the inside. Move made. P4 it is. Got three laps here. I can sense a win. You know that. Oh, it's our, it's Repelio once again. Okay, we're in the slipstream. Jig to the outside. I don't think we're going to make a move into Paddock Hill because the AI seemed pretty quick through Paddock Hill. But they're slow into Druids, so if I send one, go for it. Made the move, but Repelio's probably going to have the exit. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, just need to hold on now and we'll get the first win of the series. It's going to be the first career victory for John Traction. You finally get your ass in gear. Okay, so that means after the first round, with 20 points, we obviously lead the championship. Going on to round two, it gives us a nice platform to build on. Let's jump straight in. Okay, starting ninth for Alton Park. Got a teammate right in front of us. Reasonable start, actually. It's a very wide version. Sorry, banana. 
It's a very wide version of Alton Park. Of course, a big thing about these old games is is that um, these tracks were designed obviously in a totally different way to what they are now. But they're all laser scanned and fancy technology. I don't know what they did to design this, but it's uh, it's shaped like Alton Park. But I think that's probably where the similarities stop. It's a lot wider and a lot flatter, which seems to be a seems to be a kind of consistent thing. Oh hello, nice slide. But yeah, the, the elevation changes are not caught very well in this game, um, and the width of the circuits, but obviously the, the corners and the shapes are pretty good, so I feel like it's maybe been taken from a 2D map picture or something. Meanwhile, we've just taken the lead on lap one. I have to say, these catrums are probably the, the kind of, I guess, the most intuitive to drive so far. Like, it, the handling model of this game suits these catrums quite well. It feels a little bit more predictable. But I'm really looking forward to getting further into this game because you've got officially licensed DTM with all the drivers and teams, you've got officially licensed V8 supercars, there's all sorts of cool stuff. This Catrum series is proving to be the most straightforward so far, don't want to jinx it. Thank you, thank you. Two wins in a row then for John Traction. Lake second, Repelio down in 11th for that one. Okay, our final round is Zandvoort. Obviously the old Zandvoort, but it seems to be like a mini version. I think I remember this is actually like the infield part, so it doesn't go anywhere near the pitch straight. It's just the kind of middle sector of the lap, but in a loop. Let's see what we can do for P10. Oh, excuse me. Bit rude. Oi, get off. What? All right, they no longer like me. I'm gonna try a few different camera angles just to see what the handling feels like. There's Lake in third, we'll cut this guy off. Get a nice exit, oh beautiful. Around the outside. Oh, loving the outside line. There's your kind of cockpit view. Okay, it's our teammate in the lead. We'll give him a wee push. No, okay. Maybe not. Doesn't want to push. Okay, we're taking the lead. Yeah, these K-trims are very manageable and I think the AI are just not as strong in them and um, yeah it makes it racing a lot easier that's us then P1 okay so we've unlocked tier 6 and oh yeah this is where it gets interesting so we've got the British GT GT Cup 1930s vintage Grand Prix and the US speed truck challenge uh, I am very much looking forward to giving that a go that's gonna be good fun so that's going to be it for the second episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I'm very much enjoying the series so far, and I think that we've got a long, long way to go, but it's going to be good fun. And I think it's going to get a lot more challenging as we go up through. Hopefully, my skill level will improve as well as we go. And, yeah, I just think it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't even know if I ever managed to make it to the end of World Tour mode when I played this when I was younger. I probably stopped at some point. So I feel like we can go all the way. I really do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave us a like and let us know in the comments below what you enjoyed about it, what you didn't enjoy. Any feedback is always hugely appreciated. And of course, if you want to see more racing game content, whether it be retro games like this, even older games or brand new current content, make sure you subscribe to the Traction channel because we'll be bringing you lots of exciting stuff in the future. Until next time, guys, keep it pinned. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.